I'm defining my event source called API event, which is of the type API, and it has two properties, path and method. Consider this. You have an AWS Lambda function, and you want to trigger it using a REST API in Amazon API Gateway. Can you do this in a few steps using AWS SAM and Cloud9 IDE? Let's find out. Let's start by navigating to the Cloud9 service, click on Create Environment, and give it a name. I'm going to leave all these settings to their default values, hit Create, then click on Open Cloud9 IDE. Right-click on the parent folder and create a new folder called SAM. And within SAM, I'm going to create another folder called My Lambda. Next, I'm going to drag and drop my lambda underscore function dot py file, which returns a status code of 200 and a body of hello from lambda. Let's save this file under the my lambda folder, then bring in our requirements.txt file. Since our lambda function does not require any dependencies, I'm going to leave this file empty and save it under my lambda folder as well. Finally, Let's drag and drop our template.yml file, which defines a resource called mysamlambda, which is of the type AWS serverless function. Under properties, I'm defining my handler, runtime, code URI, and a memory size of 128 MB. On line 12, I'm defining my event source called API event, which is of the type API, and it has two properties, path and method. To summarize, if you were to invoke the slash hello path in our REST API using get method, our Lambda function should get triggered. Let's save our template.yaml file in the SAM folder, then head to the bash terminal and type cd or change directory followed by SAM to go inside it. If you run the ls or list command, you should see your mylambda folder and the template.yaml file. Next, let's validate our template.yaml file by running the sam validate command. Looks like our sam template is valid. If it had any errors, this is where it would show up. Next, let's package our sam application by running the sam package command with the hyphen hyphen output dash template dash file option. I'm also going to specify an S3 bucket where an archive for our Lambda function can get uploaded. Looks like our SAM package command was successful. You can confirm this by double clicking on the output template file and confirming that the code URI is now pointing to the S3 bucket. If you hit refresh inside your S3 bucket, you should see an archive file there. Next, let's copy paste the same deploy command and run it with the capabilities option with the value of capability underscore IAM. This will give CloudFormation permission to create a basic execution role for our Lambda function. Make sure you gave your stack a name, then hit enter to execute your same deploy command. Give it a few minutes for the same deploy process to complete. In the meantime, you can also head to the CloudFormation service and monitor the progress there. Looks like our stack was successfully created. Let's confirm this by heading to the API Gateway service, then go inside your newly created API. Select the get method, hit test, then confirm that you see hello from Lambda in the response body. There you have it. But before you go, here's a question for you. Why did the AWS Lambda function go to the party?